I always found with those room correction software, uh, they were good below 100 cycles. Because, you know, less energy below 100 cycles is always welcome almost in any room. But I, I never liked what they did to the mid-range, and I never liked what they did to the sound stage. They yep. seemed to kind of pull or push everything together, and it was got too crowded, and right, you right. couldn't separate. Right. So, uh, I, I, you know, I have a bias against them, I guess. I haven't heard any uh, new ones lately, so I, I don't know uh, what, what the situation is. But the process that I went through with Sam, just so those of you out there know, I have a database of uh, 128 rooms now that I built and measured. Now, back in the 80s, when we did our acoustical measurements, I had 18 microphones yeah. in a room. And they were spaced every three, four foot apart. Right. And you know, we had slow computer speeds and oh my God, it, you'd have to get all the data in, push the button and then go to lunch. Right. And wait for the computer to work and process all this stuff. Now we have uh, speeds and stuff where we don't have to do that. But So when Sam called me, I took the dimensions of his room, put it in our database and I knew within 5% how much square footage of low frequency absorption that he needed. So, and I think we hit it pretty close. Yeah. We hit it right on the head. Right. So we have, a, uh, we have our ACDA 10 units here, uh, which take up so, uh, a certain amount of square feet. And in the back with our diffusers, in the bases of our diffusers, we also have the carbon technology. And it's all about square footage out there. Think of, think of your room as a glass of water and you've got too much water in your room. So we have to bring the water level down. So we're gonna drop sponges in the glass to lower the water level. How many sponges, where to put them and stuff, that's all uh, data that I have in my database. So we really don't need to spend a lot of time in measurements and stuff because I've already done that. Now, are we gonna hit it right away, first time? Most of the time we get pretty close. It might be a one or two unit difference, but that's uh, fixable and we can fix that. So um, it's a nice, convenient way to do it. And I was in Los Angeles, you were in Chicago, and now I'm back in Chicago listening to the results of our uh, fix, and it, it's incredible. And uh, Sam's very happy w with the low end in his room, and his wife's happy. <laughs> yes, I am very happy, and uh, I am uh, very happy with the uh, with the response. Whenever I called you, I was there to, because I mean, you know, I'm in Chicago, or somebody else is in New York, you're in Los Angeles. If you're making an investment. Uh, you're not gonna just give your money away. You're gonna make sure that it's uh, you're gonna get what you're asking for, and the and the person on the other uh, line is gonna support the product, and uh, then it's got paid a while back, so he doesn't have to be doing this. And he's here, you know. And then he was supportive after the fact. There's some some places, some people after they get paid, they don't return your phone call, and you know. But uh, my experience was very, very good. I'm very happy with the experience. I'm very happy with the results. And uh, I mean, even talking here, I like the sound of my voice now, you know? No, it's effortless. <laughs> yeah. I like to talk loud. I have yeah. a real boom voice, but yeah. I find myself in, in my rooms with, with foam that uh, I, I keep uh, things a lot uh, smoother. Yeah. Had you had diffusion on your rear wall before? Uh, we had, uh, no, well, I had, uh, I would call it quasi diffuser, just two pieces of wood oh. on, on an angle and some foam behind it. Oh. But uh, it was uh, mainly like a base trap. Ah. And the base trap that was, uh, uh, sometimes, like I said, I used to have like two mixes. And I was sometimes thinking of doing like three mixes, one just for people who sit there. So if, if I have a showing or people are sitting there, I would fire up that, like that mix. So it's not so much bass. It's like chasing your tail. Yes. And you don't want to be chasing your tail uh, because you didn't get paid for chasing the tail. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website AcousticFields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below 
and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured, and I guarantee you your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.